our living room with you having a experience to explore body mind and breath on our yoga mats so uh, we're grateful for this opportunity thank you for joining us find a way to come into a comfortable seat and we will go ahead and get started uh, sitting with eyes closed and a long spine in any comfortable seated position you can encounter become aware of our breath and breathing. We're going to be our guide for the next hour or so, going into our fears, going into our tight places, going into any tensions, superficial mentally or deeper emotional tension in the body. And we meet it with our breath. And sometimes it's uncomfortable. We back off a little bit. Sometimes we're in a more exploring mode and we continue to allow the breath to guide us deeper. Just listening to our body as we go, connecting to the breath. Let's allow eyes to come open. We'll bring hands together at heart level. Take an inhale through the nose, bring the arms up and out. Hold the breath out momentarily. Press the palms away, fingers down. Exhaling breath, hands come to heart level. And again, inhale through the nose. Hold the breath out, press the palms, draw the fingers, wake up the meridians in the arms. And exhaling breath, back to heart level. One more like that. Inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale, hands, heart level. Beautiful, left hand out, right hand to the belly. Let's wake up the belly, the belly breathing. Inhaling, push, push, push the belly out. Exhaling breath, pull the belly back towards the spine. Let's do that again, wake up the belly. Inhale, push the belly out. Exhale, pull the belly back towards the spine. One more like this. Inhale, push, push, push the belly out. Exhaling breath, pulling the belly back towards the spine. Beautiful. Warming up the breath, we'll go to full and complete yogic breath, two hands to the belly. Inhale, push the belly out. Now suck the belly up and in, keep breathing, inhale into the ribs, inhale into the chest, inhale to the clavicle, and then slowly let the breath out, chest, ribs, belly. We'll do two more. Inhale, push the belly out. Suck the belly in, expand the ribs, keep breathing. Expand the chest, clavicle breathing all the way up into the upper chest. And slowly releasing the breath, chest, ribs, belly. One more, inhale, push the belly out. Suck the belly in, expand the ribs. Expand the chest, keep breathing into the clavicle. Mm, and slowly releasing the breath from the chest to the ribs, to the belly. Beautiful. So let's change it up, bring both hands out in front. We'll do forceful exhalations now. So now on the inhalation, or on the, we're gonna do forceful exhalation, the belly pushes towards the spine. We're gonna push the breath, expelling the breath out. Passive inhalation to follow will work together in my rhythm. Take an inhale. And let's begin. Exhale. 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 Keep going. Exhale. Exhale, 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 all the breath. Inhale, half lung of air. Swallow, holding the breath in, lift the chest, drop the chin to the chest, shoulders peel to the ears, engage the perineum, kumba breath retention. Try hold the prana in the chest cavity, no breathing. Slowly as you're letting 
Release the locks, release the breath. Tension to the brow center, quieting the mind. Let's do a second round of Kumbha breath retentions. Take an inhale. Lift the chest, hold the breath in, drop the chin to the chest, peel the shoulders to the ears and engage the perineum, holding the breath in Kumbha. Breath retentions, no tension in the face. Slowly release the locks, slowly release the breath. Allow the eyes to come open. We'll bring the prana, the life force energy into our eyes. So much time <laughs> I'm spending for sure in front of the screens. I know many of you are too. Let's revitalize the amazing eyes. Yoga for the eyes. Chin stays parallel, moving only the eyes. Take an inhale. On the exhaling breath, look down, look up, look down, look up, look down, look up. Center. Another inhale. On the exhale, look far right, far left, far right, far left, far right, far left, center. Another inhale. Exhaling breath, look down, far right, look up, far left, look down, center. Another inhale. Exhaling breath, look down, far left, look up, far right, look down, center. Instead of stretching the eyes, we're going to focus the eyes. This is Tratakam. So arm comes up at shoulder height, fingertip in line with the eyes. Gaze at the fingertip, no blinking. Slowly start to bend the elbow. Use the focus of your eyes to the finger as it comes to the nose. And slowly extends back out. As it comes to full extension, gaze beyond, rest momentarily. Return the focus to the finger, slowly bend the elbow. No blinking, trataka. All the way to the nose and all the way back out. Gazing beyond momentarily, resting the eyes and then focusing the eyes, bending the elbows. Last round, fingertip to nose, slowly, slowly extend the finger. Release the palms, bring them together. Let's build some heat. Prana, it's Monday morning, it's a new moon. Just start to maybe think about what your intention is for your new moon right now. You can put that into your hands. Visualize a beautiful intention for this next lunar cycle. Get it nice and hot. And then slowly cover the eyes and just slow down the breath. Bathe the eyes. Just rest in that internal darkness. The rods and the cones of the retina just receive and healing energy, your intention, just being infused into every cell in your being. And let's release the hands, interlace the fingers, press the palms away, all the way overhead. We'll set the tone for our UJI breath here, slight constriction in the back of the throat. Breathing audibly through the nostrils here. Elbows are straight, palms are pressing up. Slowly release the arms out in front. Get the palms facing one another, or get the backs of the hands facing one another. Turn the palms down, interlace the fingers, find those little points, press points in between. Roll the arms up and through to your degree. And when I say your degree, I mean we go to your level, however it's feeling in your body. Most important thing is to breathe. Yoga for the hands and fingers. Slow release, then we'll switch. Left goes over right. Rolling in, up, and over. So you can see the degrees, the difference between maybe Tara and I, a little more open in the shoulders. For me, I'm still getting a great stretch. It's to my degree as deeply as I can stretch in this moment and still be uh, some comfort to be able to take a full inhalation and exhalation. And then slowly release. Release the hands, get the legs out in front. 
get the benefit of seeing both of our practices, so different people at different levels at different times, exploring perfectly wherever it is that they find themselves. So legs are out in front, move the fleshy part of the buttocks away, press the legs down. So backs of the calves and the heels are on, you can kind of crab the fingers up, lift the heart up, and we'll start with yoga for the toes. Toe cramp, squeeze the toes for one release, two release, three release, four release, five release, six hold and squeeze. Ah, and release. So we'll go right over left. So yoga for the toes. What is going on here? Interlace the, the toes just like we did with the fingers. One toe, amazing. Maybe two toes, three toes. Some of us have been practicing getting all the way to the fourth toe, maybe the big toe. Squeeze the toes when you get there. Wake up the nerves and the ankles, the legs, all the way up into the neck. Keep squeezing. Mm, and then release, relax, same thing on the other side. Every day is different, every side is different. So get the pinky toe, you can do that. And then see if you can try working on that second toe, maybe the third toe, fourth toe, big toe. And when you get, wherever you get to <laughs> in this moment, we get to squeeze our toes. Give them a squeeze, keep breathing. Wake up all the nerves and marma points, the energy centers in the toes. Keep squeezing. Mm, and then relax and release. We'll do ankles down. Forward with the ankles for one release, two release, three release, four release, five release, six hold. Clockwise for one, two, three, four, five, six. And switch for one, two, three, four. Five and six. Beautiful. All right, so bringing it up into the knees here. I have to come a little bit forward, bring the knee in, interlace onto opposite elbows, then lift the chest, press the right leg down. We'll go clockwise for one, two, three, four, five, six, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So same thing, other side again. Each side's gonna be a little different. Left leg is down, grab the elbows. Let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Beautiful. Coming up into the quad. So bigger muscles, we move slower on the larger muscles. Get yourself towards the front. Right heel comes in, left leg goes back. Toes are flat, so for some of us, we found our degree. This is it. So we can feel it here, and then as we can, we breathe. Inhale, energy comes in the pose. Exhale, we relax a little bit. So maybe on an exhaling breath, it might even be audible, a little sigh as we go, uh, or maybe a moan or a groan, if that's what it's calling for in this moment. And then slowly start to walk yourself back, maybe to the elbows, breathing there. Maybe to the top of the head, to breathe there, maybe laying the spine flat to breathe there. Again, let that audible exhale come in when you feel, and then go back to the purposeful inhale and exhale. You can grab opposite elbows or just let the arms roll on top, breathing slowly. All right, great job. Elbows on the inhale, exhale, come all the way up. And let's try the other side. Left and right, very different from inside of our body, right? Many of us are right-handed or left-handed or we jump a certain way or right a certain way or we do our jobs a certain way. The body, the, the hemispheres come off. So listen, start especially in the warm-ups to listen to the differences between the left and the right to your degree. Slowly rolling back, listening to breath. <sighs> Maybe that's it for today. Again, if you have the privilege, lay the spine flat. Ah, oh, let a sigh out. Maybe feels good. Keep breathing. Oh. Grab it. opposite elbows. Let's go. Elbows once again. Inhale, exhale. Coming all the way up to standing position. So we've done our warm ups. 
And now we're coming to standing again. If you've got your coffee, put it down. Hop out. Find us on the mat. This is your moment. Jump in. We're going to do our salutation, benediction, perhaps a prayer to the sun. We are grateful, grateful to the sun. Feet come together. Fingers come down. Chest lifts. We stand tall to begin and we close our eyes. We use our internal senses to become aware of how much we really love the sun. It is shining right now somewhere. Maybe on a sunrise, beautiful. Maybe on a sunset, beautiful. Visualizing some form of the sun that you are grateful for. Create a personal relationship. Deepen your personal relationship with the sun. Hmm. So now eyes to come open. We're going to move together. Surya Namaskar. Surya means sun. Namaskar means respects. We pay our respects. Moving together through 12 postures. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands come. Heart level. Inhale, press the feet. Arms come up. Lift up. Reach up. It's a little back bend here so you can look up. Keep reaching through the hands. Pressing through the feet. Opening to the hips. And on the exhaling breath, hinge and fold. We're coming forward. Placing the hands. It's your first stretch of the morning. Take your time here. Maybe hands are just coming to the knees and that's okay. Perhaps we have the privilege to come to the ankles. Maybe the fingers come in line with the toes. Perhaps the palms are pressing. The backs of the legs are coming along. Press evenly into both knees. Lift the tailbone, forehead is dropping in the direction of the shins, and my breath is like a symphony. Connect to that deep, slow, steady breath. It's the key to the pose here, keep breathing. Okay, let's bend the knees, left leg's coming all the way back, Ashwashan Shalanasana, back knee down, back foot down, lunge into the hips, peel the arms back, open the chest, and perhaps look forward, eyes are open, maybe looking all the way to the ceiling, keep the front knee coming towards midline, ah, now we're breathing, body is starting to wake itself up, we're moving through the, Yogi Charu calls them the Grankies blockages, right? So we all got a lot of blockages in our hips. Lunge to the hips, keep the knee coming towards midline, heart opening up, Ashwashan Shalanasana, beautiful. And let's place the hands in front, in line with the front foot, turn the back toes, going into mountain pose. Sanskrit Parvokanasana. Grateful for me, I've been to the Himalaya, Himalayas once, they call this pose Parvokanasana, mountain pose. Body in a shape like a V here. Tailbone's coming towards the sky. We're noticing both knees pressing back evenly. Feel your heel. See if one heel wants to press down more towards the floor than the other. See if you can press both heels down evenly. Press to the pads of the fingers. Press to the palms. Draw the inner elbows towards one another. Bring your chin slightly to the chest. Make space between the shoulder blades. Spine as long as the tailbone lifts. Park Vokanasan Mountain Pose. Keep breathing. And on the back of your next exhalation, go ahead, drop the knees to the floor. Send your heart right between the thumbs. Ashtanga Namaskar. Elbows point up. You can go to the pads of your fingers if you need to get that. Lengthen your chin on the floor. Keep your butt up. Two feet, two knees, two hands, chest and chin to the mat. Gaze at the tip of your nostrils and breathe slowly and audibly. Next inhale and breath, point the toes, press the hips. Energy to the hands in line with the shoulders, Bhujangasana. If you have a neck or a back injury or just warming up, bring the elbows in line with the shoulders. Press the palms down, press the hips down, lift the heart. 
Lift the chest and keep breathing here. Back bend, sometimes a little challenge to breathe, so perhaps smaller sips of oxygen. Prana coming in, point those toes. Lift the chest, Sphinx or Bhujangasana, and on an exhaling breath, turn the chin, place the hands, once again, mountain pose. Listen to the breath. Balance the hemispheres, the right and the left. Notice if one heel is pressing, no difference if one knee is pressing. Even them out. Lift that tail. Because evenly the hands or shoulder distance makes space in the rib cage. So left foot all the way forward, right knee down, opposite side. So we're testing left and right here. A little bit lunging to the hips. Now on the opposite side, peeling the arms back, opening the chest, gazing towards the ceiling. Again, this front knee wants to come towards midline. Back foot, back knee, press to the earth. Use that as your connection point to the earth. Same with the front foot, press it in. But no scrunch in the toes. Soften the toes, soften the face, look up. Ashwashan Shalanasana. Let's place the hands in line with the front foot. Right comes to meet the left on an exhaling breath. Exploring that fold here. Maybe some of those grankies, some of those blockages are starting to remove, right? We're bringing heat in. So you have, maybe you have a privilege to move to the next phase in the posture. You go from fingers to palms or perhaps turn the palms around or maybe you get from your knees to your ankles with your hands. Listen to your body which means connect to your breath and see what the body is revealing in this moment. Press the feet, place the hands together, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands, heart level, release the palms to the sides. We'll do it all again. Surya Namaskar, salutation to the sun on the other side. Take an inhale. Exhaling breath, hands come, heart level. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Let's move with the breath here. Right leg back, right knee down. Inhale, lift up. Ashwashan Shalanasana, place the hands. Left leg back on the exhaling breath, mountain pose. Back of that exhale, drop the knees, chest, and chin. Try to stay breathless for a moment and then point the toes. Inhale, come up. Bhujangasan, exhale, mountain pose. Right foot forward, left knee down. We got a little wind blowing through here, that's okay. Inhale, lift the chest, look up, place the hands. Exhale, left leg comes over to me, backs of the legs are long, palms together. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands. To heart level, release the palms to the sides, and once again, close the eyes. We like to take little breaks. We use our imagination, our mental faculties to now visualize the moon. Let's take a moment visualizing the new moon that is happening just moments from now. 29 degrees Cancer, that's our astrological standing in this moment. In this moment, we're all standing on our mats, visualizing a beautiful, just a hairline crescent moon. Just that moment, the continuation of the lunar cycle from one to the next. Perhaps, yes, we have. Perhaps visualizing that seed intention I was talking about earlier, some feeling or experience, some goal or vision that you have for yourself over the course of the next 28 days, the next lunar cycle. Again, we're just at the beautiful seeding moment, this amazing, amazing crescent moon. Grateful to the moon, learning to make the mind our best friend. So allow eyes to come open, changing only fourth and ninth postures. This is Chandra. In Sanskrit, Chandra means moon. Namaskar, respects. Take an inhale. 
Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, left leg back, left knee down, hands to heart level, arms all the way overhead, shape it like a crescent moon. Mm, front knees coming towards midline here. We're lunging into the hips to your degree. No strain in the lungs. Lift the arms, press the rear foot. Again, connect those feet to the earth. Connect the back knee to the earth. Lunge a little further. Lift the chest. Gaze to your degree along the ceiling. So maybe towards the front corner, maybe towards the back corner. Depends where you're at. Keep breathing. Crescent moon position. And then let's place the hands, turn the back toes, come to meet in mountain. Parvokanasan. Take a few breaths, chin to chest, long spine, tail lifts, heels press, fingers spread, and actively push into the earth. Knees, chest, then chin, Ashtanga Namaskar, slowly elbows up, and then inhale, point to toes, Bhujangasana. Exhale, mountain pose, turn the toes again. Take that tailbone like it's getting pulled up into the heavens. Lengthening the spine, lengthening the backs of the legs, lengthening the length and steadiness of our breath. Left foot forward, right knee down, hands heart level all the way overhead. This is crescent moon position. Listen to your body, which means connect to breath and see if there's space to explore a little bit. Check in with your feet. How's that front foot? Soften the toes in the front foot. Back foot is pressing to the earth, helping to lunge a little further in. Back knee is down, front knee moves towards the center line. Chest is up, gaze is up, arms are up, pulling, keep breathing. And slowly, hands release to the, to the front, right leg comes to meet the left, backs of the legs are long, take a moment and a breath here. Again, we're clearing the, the green keys, so the body's warming up, we're bringing breath, prana in. Listening. To our degree, again, perhaps pressing palms in line with feet, perhaps bending or turning the hands around where the heels of the hands come forward and start to bend the elbows and the forehead comes in the direction of the shins. My breath is slow and steady. Listen to the music of your own breath. Press the feet, bring the palms together, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands, heart level, release the palms to the sides. Perhaps bring that seed intention to the mind's eye once again as we do the other side. Chandra Namaskar, take an inhale. Exhale, hands, heart level, inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Right leg back, right knee down, crescent moon overhead, that beautiful crescent moon. Front knee coming towards midline, or, and then place the hands, turn the top toes in the back. Exhale, mountain pose. Knees, chest and chin to the floor, elbows in and up. Point the toes, press the hips, press the hands, lift the chest, bhujangasana. Cobra. Yeah, keep flowing. Mountain pose. <laughs> Exhaling breath. Heels are down. Spread the fingers. And now the other side. Right foot forward, left knee down. Crescent moon on the other side. Big inhale as we come back. Mm, plus the hands. Left foot comes to meet the right. Backs of the legs are long. Palms together, inhale, rise up. 
Mm, beautiful. Exhale, hands, heart level. Closing the eyes. Feel your heart pumping. The oracles and the ventricles and capillaries and the arteries can feel the little vibration happening in your skull right now. It's the life force energy, the prana, circulating through this amazing nervous system. You can feel it in your palms, you can feel it in your toes. Allow the eyes to come open. We'll start with our first posture of the day, Uktasana. This is chair position. So inhale, arms all the way up. And you're going to gaze up towards your fingers without changing the shape of your chin. So this is where the yoga for the eyes comes in. So look up towards the fingers. Beautiful. Activate those arms and fingers. Take an inhale. And on the exhaling breath, sit the button tail down. Yeah. So the gaze stays up. It's using concentration, creating a little will here. So that beautiful seed intention that we set will be nourished by the will that we're creating in these standing poses. Button tail down, arms are extending, elbows are straight, gaze is up, you can lift, lift the toes, stay down, keep breathing for three, two, one, let's come up, inhale, exhale, release the arms, interlace the fingers, I'll show you, press the palms away, and folding forward. Yeah, so the legs are long here. Try to take the bend out of the knees. Again, press evenly into the backs of the knees to do it. Arms are lifting towards the sky. Weight comes perhaps slightly out of the heels. Keep breathing. Listening to the sound of our own breath going to our degree. And then slowly. Turn the palms to the low back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release the palms to the sides. Open the eyes. Hands to heart level. We'll do twisted chair. We're going to bring prana into our stomach here. A big weekend. Probably ate and drank all kinds of things. Let's bring some prana into our belly. Twisted chair series. Inhale. On the exhaling breath, sit the chair down and then left elbow to the edge of the the right thigh. There's your twist, and this is our chair. Belly comes across. Head, neck, turn. Keep palms together. Keep breathing. And if there's room, you can look down towards the floor here. Place your left hand in line with the fingertips. Otherwise, stay right where you're at. Right hand comes towards the ceiling. Keep that belly button coming across. Again, bringing prana, energy, life force into the stomach and belly. If you're going for your bind, it entails opening the hand to the low back. Left hand comes off the floor, reaches in the direction all the way. It kind of turns the shoulder backwards to do it. My body doesn't have that opening, so I'm staying right where I'm at. Opening the heart, and then slowly as you're ready, let's come all the way up. Twisted chair, moving a lot of prana into the belly. Now we're going to move and vitalize the amazing liver, the detoxifying liver right here. Let's bring prana into the liver. Take an inhale. On exhaling breath, sit button tail down and across. Outer edge of the right leg comes. Beautiful. Of the right elbow comes to the left thigh. Yes, head and neck are turning. Take a moment, sit down. Get the belly button going across. If there's room, you can look towards the floor, place the right fingertips in line with the right toes. Left hand is reaching towards the sky, opening the chest space here. Just keep the tail down, lift the left fingers. Again, the bind exploration entails turning the shoulder inside out to the low back. Right hand releases from the floor. If you have a strap, now might be a decent time to try that. Otherwise, stay right where you're at, lifting that left arm for three, Two, one, and release. Hands back to heart level. Release the palms to the side. Let's do table position. Again, arms are coming overhead. Standing position, building will, courage, determination in these postures. Lift the arms up, take an inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Coming at you, right into your screen. 
you're drinking your coffee, now's a good time. Hop off your, hop off your coffee table, see if you can join us for a little table position. Okay? Press the feet, extend the fingers. Engage the belly. Drop the chest slightly. Look down towards the floor, maybe three to four feet in front. Reach those fingers, elbows are straight. For three, two, one, hands to heart level. Bend the knees, right le arm, right legs coming up. Yeah, right heels going towards the back wall, right toes point towards the floor. Hands can be at the chest, perhaps to the low back if there's any tension, or otherwise arms come all the way in front. Press the rear heel, straighten the left leg, extend the elbows, point the fingers, bakasan, balance pose. We'll go hands together, heart level. Let's bring the leg all the way through. Smile at the shake in the leg. Standing leg is key here, so that means ground the left foot. Now lift the right heel a little further than you think, and then a little bit further than that. Keep breathing for three. Smile, breathe, two, one. Let's release, we'll go to tree pose, let's do it. Bring the foot in contact with the inner thigh. Press it like a little glue right there. Get the right hip going backwards, perhaps one hand to heart level, perhaps both hands at heart level, if there's room. Let's grow into a full forest here. Standing leg is key, gaze is forward. Breathing deeply into your tree pose. Again, find the, the tree or the flower that you're wanting to be on your mat this morning. Mm -hmm. And then slowly let's release. And we'll do the same thing <laughs> on the other side. Shake it out if you need. Okay, beautiful. We'll start with our balance pose. Hands to heart level. Pendulum forward, inhale, exhale. Right leg is straight now, pointing forward with the toes. Key to the poses is, is the standing leg. Look down, extend the rear heel. Point the toes of the back foot towards the floor. Extend the fingers. Balance pose. Let's hold for five. Four, keep breathing, three, two, one, hands to heart level, left foot's coming through, lifting in the direction of parallel to the floor, smiling at that shake in the leg, hold for three, smile, breathe, two, one, release, left foot to the inner right thigh, however you find it. Standing leg is firm, soften the toes, press the bottom foot into the thigh, perhaps one hand and the other to heart level. We're building a forest full of oxygenation, prana, life force energy, coming up from the roots in the left foot, all the way up through those fingers. Again, if there's a, a flower or a particular blossom that you're working on this morning, please go ahead, give it an exploration. And slowly, hands. The heart level, shake it out, release it, and let's do one more trick. Hip distance apart, greater than hip distance, let's call it mat distance, we're going wide here, right hand grabs the left, side body stretch, it's less than comfortable, so work through it with the breath, take an inhale, exhale, press the left hip out, yeah, so now it, the breath is work. Keep breathing here, right shoulder forward slightly, gaze up towards the left shoulder, pull right hand to the left. It's okay, keep pulling. Side body stretch for three, two, one. Come all the way up, same thing other side, left hand grabs, take an inhale. Exhaling breath, shoot the left, the right hip all the way towards the wall. You can usually go a little further than you might think here, so breathe. And then pull a little further, left shoulder forward, gaze towards the right arm pit chest, get that, that left hip going out, yeah, a little bit more, and then come all the way up. Side body stretch, feeling good, release the hands to the sides. Now feet are coming hip distance apart. We're transitioning to the direction of the floor, hands to the hips, take an inhale, exhale, parahastasan, hands to the feet position, and for some of us that means hands to knees. 
It might need hands to ankles. Fold forward, breathe. And then perhaps if there's room, fingertips are coming underneath the toes. Maybe the palms are coming underneath. The backs of the legs, the feet are pressing, the heels are pressing to the floor, the knees are pressing evenly back. Tailbone's coming up to the sky, belly and chest coming in the direction of the front of the legs, the shins. Bringing the nose in the direction of the shins. Forehead down towards the ankles. Keep breathing. Stay with that symphonic breath. Listen to the music of your own body. And let's release the hands from the feet. Peace fingers grab to the big toes. We'll stretch the neck here. Lengthen the backs of the legs. Lift the toes. Look up. Maybe look towards the front wall, maybe towards the middle, maybe towards the ceiling edge of that front wall. Keep breathing. Stretching the eyes here, working on that focus and concentration. Backs of the legs are long for three, two, keep breathing, one, and release. Chin in the direction of the chest. Place the hand, shoulder distance. Walk the feet back. Parvokanasan. Mountain Pose. Peace fingers face forward. Spread the thumb and pinky wide. Press the heels of the hands to the mat. Inner elbows draw towards one another. Make space in the shoulder blades as the chin comes in the direction of the chest. Long spine. So the rib cage, the intercostals, the muscles in between the ribs are linked. Tailbone, sacral connection, lifting up towards the sky. You can engage the perineum. We call Urayan Banda. It's all the way into the belly here. The very lowest part of the belly is pulling up towards the sky. Backs of the legs are evenly pressing through each knee. Backs of the heels evenly pressing down towards the floor. Par Vokanasana, this is mountain pose. Let's keep the right heel down on the ground. We're going to lift the leg, left leg up to the sky. Keep breathing. Engage the left elbow. Straighten the left elbow. Press the right heel or the right elbow and the right heel into the floor. Inhale. Lift the left foot a little further. And then exhale all the way forward. Outer edge of the back foot is going to pin here. We're coming up. Virabhadrasan once. Take a moment with the feet. Outer edge of the back foot. Turn slightly and pin the pinky toe edge of that foot down. Sink to the thighs. So this is going to be the critical piece. Soften a little bit. Drop that front thigh. Soften the front toes. If you got to get a little longer in your stance, please do so. Smile on the face here. Hands to heart level, right shoulder forward, right, right hip is pulling forward. Put a flashlight on that right hip and send it forward. Arms come all the way overhead. You can release the palms if you've got tight shoulders like me. Keep breathing. Listen to the body. Listen to that music of the breath here. Gaze is up towards the ceiling. Hmm. Take an inhale and an exhaling breath, we're going to switch. So front foot stays where it is. Walk the back foot slightly longer. Rear heels in line with the front foot. Back foot is now opening a little bit, so there creates an opening in the hips. So the right hip is moving in the opposite direction of the left. Keep the front knee in line with the front ankle. Sink a little further. Arms come parallel to the floor. Palms can be up or down. Matters not. Activation in the arms is what matters. Gaze out at the front fingertips. Virabhadrasana two. Warrior two. Position. It's holding. Breathing for three. Two. Keep breathing. All one. Pin the back edge of the back foot. Inhale. Exhale. Body shapes a diagonal. Advaya. Fearless warrior. Arms are extending. Belly's up. Off the thigh. Chest extending forward. Gaze purposeful. Out in front, breathing deeply for three, two, one. Left hand to the floor, perhaps fingers 
perhaps a block, whatever you need here. Opposite hand reaches to the sky, open the front side of the chest, turn the head and neck. Mm, towards the ceiling, right hand's reaching towards the sky. Back foot is grounded, active in the feet, meaning press them to the earth. Stay strong in your legs. If you'd like to place the hand, like we talked about earlier, for your bind to your low back, you may. Reaching now underneath the left thigh to grab onto the fingertips of that hand. You do not need to. Stay right where you're at and breathe. Open the chest. Gaze towards the ceiling to your degree for three, two, one. Drop. Release the hands. Drop the back knee. Heel toe. Heel toe left foot. So we're breathing here. Stay with the breath. Inner elbow comes in line up the inner tricep of the left foot, of the left hand is coming in. Whoo, lefts and rights. Place the hands like a push up. Elbow of the right is coming in towards the thigh on the right. And then we're gonna start to come forward. Back knee can be down, lift the left foot. Back knee's gonna come up slightly, bring the chin up. Maybe start to lift the back foot. Arm balancing. Kondanyasa, A is for attempt. I know you can try it. For three, two, one. Slowly come on down. Come to me in Balasan, the child's pose. Knees greater than hip distance. Heels together, sit the butt to the heels if possible. Rest the forehead if possible. If you need a blanket or a pillow for your forehead or for your heels, Please go ahead and grab one. Ooh, feel that beating heart. Grateful to the heart. Been with us since we've been in our mama's womb. 27 days, amazing. Started out like a little thumb. Visualize your heart starting as a thumb inside the mother's womb. Your mother's womb. And then expanding this beautiful heart growing with us from inside. The heart is the spiritual center of this electric spiritual impulse that we all experience. It's grown all the way to the size of a fist, maybe larger. That heart now is just pumping. Every moment, every breath since we've been with our mother's womb, the heart is beating. We are just so grateful for the heart. It's amazing, amazing circulatory system, the oracles, the ventricles, the arteries and the veins, moving blood, oxygen, necessary nutrients out to all of the little nooks and crannies of our body. Let that blood circulate through your body. Grateful, grateful for this amazing circulatory system. You have two beautiful lungs. The lungs are ventilating, they're breathing, taking in the life force energy from outside beyond us and allowing it to circulate freely, oxygenating the cells of the body, cooling the body as we warm it up with the flow of blood. Grateful, grateful to these amazing lungs, a respiration system. Let's use those lungs to take an inhale, rise up, and work on balancing the masculines and the feminines of our own body, the rights and the left. So the left is the feminine side, the right is the masculine side. So we did left leg first, we're going to do right leg now. Let's switch and do the other side. Place the hands in front, shoulder distance, feet hip distance, heels pressing, fingers spreading, tailbone lifting apart. Vokanasin Mountain Pose. Keep the left heel down, right leg's lifting to the sky. Engage the left elbow, straighten the left arm. Press the left heel down as you lift the right leg a little bit further. Inhale, keep lifting. And our exhaling breath that's coming all the way forward. Right leg is forward now. Back edge of the foot, get it grounded, lifting up. Take a moment to get your feet here. Back foot turning in slightly. Again, the key to this pose for me, sink a little bit further. I can't see you, but I know you could probably go to sink a little bit further. Beautiful. Left hip is coming forward. Left shoulder is coming forward. Hands heart level. 
arms overhead, Vira Bhadrasan One Warrior One position on the other side. Soften those front toes and put a smooth face on. Smile on the face. Keep breathing for three, two, one. Release. Arms are coming parallel. So front foot stays where it's at. Back foot can open up a little bit. So instead of turning forward, it's going to start to go out. Back heels in line with the front foot. Beautiful. Again, hips going down. Spine is coming long, hips are going down, arms are coming out in front, palms are facing up or down, arms parallel to the floor, gaze at the front fingertips. Virabhadrasan two, warrior two position. Smile on the face for three, two, and one. Pin the back foot, inhale, exhale. Arms extend forward, keep the belly off the thigh, body shapes diagonal, Advaya. The fearless warrior. Front leg might be shaken, saying good morning here. Let's hold for three, two, hold one. Right hand to the floor, left hand. All the way up to the ceiling, open the chest. Reach those fingertips, turn the head and neck towards side wall, and all the way to the ceiling if there's room. Mm, if you'd like to take the hand to the low back to open the chest even further, you may. If you'd like to engage that bind, you may. Otherwise, lift the chest, the heart towards the ceiling for three. Engaging the legs. Breathing steady, listening to the body. Two. And one. Release the hands, release the knees. Heel toe, front foot. So you know where we're going. Arm balance, kandinyasa. Get wide in the hips. You need this space here to even try. Hands come like a push up in front. Tricep of the right comes in contact with the inner thigh of the right. And then fold forward, chin comes towards the floor. Get the left knee in contact with the left elbow. Lift the chin, look up, maybe in front and into your two. Extend the right leg. Point the left toes, lift it if it's capable, maybe for an inch. If you want to give it a shot, take the chin down and then all the way up. And you can come down on the other side. Slowly. To your degree. Listening to your body. Let's meet again in child's pose. Yeah. Foreheads down. Palms turn to face up. Ah. So perhaps there is this exchange of elements happening. Let's visualize this inner heat, the Agni, the fire happening inside the body right now. Mixing with that water element, we talk about the moon, the Cancer moon is flowing. So the body is filled with fluids and they're heating and when the heat of the, comes to the water, we move in the direction of steam, purification, purifying the inner temple, attending to the inner temple. So this steam, this purification, this process is happening through the skin, the dermis, the largest organ in the body. Beautiful, beautiful skin is opening up and the prana is flowing in and out even through the skin. We're so grateful for this amazing elimination system. It's a protection system and it's an elimination system, the skin, we're detoxifying, purifying, amazing, amazing confluence of elements, the heat, and the water, and the air, natural purification resulting in beautiful, beautiful, healthy skin. Grateful now for this purification process, this amazing, healthy, healthy skin. Inhale, rise up. Let's go right into a little bit of backward bending. We'll go to Ukstrasen. Knees are coming a little greater than hip distance apart. Coming all the way up to stand on the knees. I'm coming sideways to show. If you want to turn the tops of the toes up, give you a little bit more room when we reach back. Otherwise, toes come flat. Up to you. Hands come to the low back. Eyes are open. 
Press the hips forward. Lift the chest. This is to your degree. So I've told you, backward bends, it's challenge to find the breath. So small sips of oxygen is a helpful tool. Keep taking in small sips. If there's room, grab the right hand to the right heel, left hand to the left heel. Keep breathing. If you just have your hands on your hips, that's great. Stay there. Lift the chest. Let the head and neck slightly out. Let's stay with it for five, to your degree, four, smile on the face to the best of your ability, three, opening the front side of the body, two, surrendering to the pose, one, slowly hands come back to the low back, exhale, let's come all the way forward, meeting again in child's pose. Rest the forehead to the floor, Release the palms to the sides. Let that prana circulate through your nervous system. Beautiful, beautiful brain. Grateful to the brain. The brain stem, the nervous system, the spinal cord, the tailbone, this amazing neurological network activating, awakening inside your body. Grateful, grateful for the nervous system. Beautiful. Inhale, rise up. And let's come to meet. We're going to do a little bit of arm balancing. We'll come to meet in a squat. So actually, let's squat first. <laughs> in preparation for our arm balancing, we'll do some squatting. Feet can be, I get that this pose isn't easy for everyone, so your heels may be up, and that's okay. Give me a little weight into your hands. Let's all keep the weight in the left hand out to the outside of the elbow. And then we're going to bring the right hand up. So I'm showing now with my heels up because I think some of us may be there. If you're able, get those heels down. Create a nice opening across the chest. For three, two, one. And let's switch. Again, if the heels are up, that's okay. Right hand's in front, a little bit wide. And then we're going to start to open the chest, make a little twist. Opposite hand comes up. If you can get the heels down, well, that's even better to your degree. For three. Two, one, slowly release, and we'll do some arm balancing now out in front. This is Bokasa and the Crow Pose, arms your shoulder distance. We're going right into it, ladies and gentlemen. Press the knees into the backs of the elbows, perhaps the triceps. Lift the butt and tail. Gaze slightly in front, maybe a few feet in front. Maybe one foot comes up. Maybe both are coming up. This is crow position. If you'd like to explore your headstand, you can get the top of the head. Keep pressing from there. Gaze is forward. If you want to explore through your crow, you can try to do one-legged crows, extending one leg back behind, perhaps the other leg. Talking through this is good fun. Opposite leg comes up. Yeah. And then slowly keep trying. If you want to drop to your headstand, you may. If you're in the headstand, the heels are pressing, maybe we're exploring, we like to have fun. If you have the headstand in the middle of your room, if you're not up to that, you can go to a tripod headstand, bring your elbows in line with your, uh, your knees to your elbows. So keep trying here, I want everyone working on this. Head comes down, we're in our tripod, so arms are shoulder distance, but you see how my knees are still in contact, it's a little safe here. So if you want to try the one leg, you can. If you want to try the opposite leg, you can. Maybe we try in both legs. All right, listen into the body. We're slowly going to make our way down. If you want to come back into your bakasa and your crow on the way down, you may, or otherwise just extending the legs. Heads come slightly up. Beautiful. Now let's come to meet on our spines. Laying along, we will come to meet in fish pose. Yes. Heels are together. Other side, nice counter pose here. So arms are close to the body or perhaps slightly under. Bring the heels together, point the toes away, so lengthen the front of the feet. Inhale, lift the chest. Drop the forehead, uh, the top of the head to the mat. Keep lifting the chest, take the lower set of teeth past the upper set of teeth. And breathe. Matsun Jasun Fish Pose. Slowly release the head and neck. Beautiful. Release the palms to the sides. Mm. You can turn the head and neck from side 
to side and center. Let's bring the heels in towards the buttocks, feet hip distance apart, say to Vandasan bridge position. Press the palms down, press evenly to the feet, lift the buttocks, lift the belly, lift the ribs, lift the chest. Now the chin is coming in direction of the chest. Don't move your head side to side, okay? Stay careful with your neck here. If there's room, interlace the arms underneath you. Press the palms, shoulders together. Breathe comfortably there. Say to Bandhasana. If this is too much for you, you can always back off. You don't need the arms underneath. Keep lifting the belly. Keep lifting the chest. If this, if you'd like to move to the next stage in the backward bends, release the arms. Place the fingertips in line with the shoulders, palms facing down. Elbows come in, coming to the top of the head. Chakras and wheel. Press evenly to hands and feet. Lifting the belly, lifting the ribs, lifting the chest. Can you come to the tippy toes? Perhaps walk the hands in, or walk the feet in towards the hands for three, two, one. Slowly come down to your degree in the backward bends, listening to our body, extend the legs out in front, turn the palms to face up, and find a deep inhalation and a slow, steady exhalation, please. Connect your breath and breathing to the rate and beating of your heart. See if your slow, steady inhalations and exhalations can begin to slow down your heart in this moment. On your next inhalation, let's bring the knees in the direction of the chest. We'll do some spinal rocking, squeezing the knees into the chest momentarily, and then slowly beginning to rock forward and back. On the exhale, bringing the spine up. Inhale, rolling down. Take your time, find your rhythm. Inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back, stay a little young and playful. Exhale, forward. Extend the legs out in front. We're going into forward folds. Press the heels away. Use the hands like we did it earlier in the practice at your back to lift your spine up. And then we'll inhale the arms all the way up. Exhale, hinge and fold the body, perhaps to the knees, perhaps to the ankles, perhaps to the tops of the toes. Belly button extending out towards the thighs, forehead reaching down towards the shins and my breath, the beautiful breath is steady. Listen to the music of your breath. Inhaling breath, extend the arms, reach up. Exhale, release the hands to our sides. We'll do spinal twists. We're going to walk the feet hip distance apart. We'll spin around. Bring the right hand past the line of symmetry in the back, perhaps a foot or two behind you. Keep the toes pointing, pointing up towards the ceiling. Left hand to the right thigh. Walk to the back elbow if there's room. You can come all the way to an extended arm. Gaze up and out over your right shoulder for three. Two, one, let's energy into the back arm, lift up, rise up, and twist around the other side. Slowly walk the hand past the line of symmetry and backwards a foot or two off your tailbone. Maybe the elbow comes down, perhaps not, to your degree. Gazing over the left shoulder, toes are pointing towards the sky, right hand can come off the left thigh, out to the side for three. Two, and one, release. So we've twisted out the spine, wringing out the spine, invigorated the spine. Let's hold the spine in place here. We will do Navas in the boat pose. Elbows are, you can extend the arms out in front. Knees are bent if you need. Otherwise, extend the legs. Body's shaping like a 
a V here, lift the belly, release the arms to the sides. Use your focus to go right between the big toes. Lift that chest plate. Let's do Kapalabhati, forceful exhales to finish. slowly release the legs spin around 180 degrees our favorite yoga pose this is shavasana corpse pose beautiful beautiful opportunity to relax and let go release the hair bun perhaps grab an eye pillow anything that's comfortable for you rest the palms at your sides a few inches from your sides ankles flopping open towards the side of your mat eyes come closed We'll do some purposeful, active relaxation, activating, point the right toes, lift the right leg, squeeze just an inch or two off the floor, flop the leg. Point the left toes, lift the left leg, just an inch or two off the floor, squeeze, flop the leg. Engage the buttocks, squeeze the butt like you're going to lift it off the floor, but pull, pull the belly button down towards the earth, pull, 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 relax the midsection, the hips, the genitals, all relaxing to the earth now. Mm, attention to the rib cage, deep inhalation, expand the ribs, fill, 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 and on the exhale, open the mouth, <sighs> let all the breath go. Beautiful. Engaging right hand, fist with the right arm, squeeze and lift, flop the right hand. Fist with the left hand, lift the left arm, squeeze, flop the arm. Beautiful. Lengthening now the back of the cervical spine, chin comes in the direction of the chest. Keep the back of the skull to the ground. Lengthen, 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 and relax the head and neck. You can turn the head and neck from side to side. Mm, and back slowly to center. Opening the mouth wide, wide, wide now. Stick the tongue out. Returning the lips. Squeezing the muscles in the face now. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Temples, forehead, eyes. Squeeze and relax. Softening all the muscles in the face. Smooth face. Entire body now. From head to toe, relaxed. Simply let go, allowing gravity to take over. We'll take our attention to our breath at the nostrils without changing a thing. Remain the observer. Watching the breath at the nostrils, please. Shifting attention now to the belly button region, the navel area, watching, observing, remain a witness to the breath at the belly button. Natural rise and fall of the belly with each passing inhalation and exhalation. Remain a witness. Counting together now non-vocally, the breath backwards from 10, mentally repeating, belly rise at 10, belly falls at 10. Watch the belly rise at 9, watch the belly fall at 9. Stay with your breath, your count, watching the breath all the way down to zero, try not to lose count. Belly rise and belly fall. As 
you encounter zero in your count, you can surrender the breath, surrender the count, let the awareness drift, remain a witness, be the observer to all the sensations and vibrations that are effortlessly occurring within and around you right now. Benefits of posture practice effortlessly flow to us now. Remaining non-reactive, receptive, and aware. Shavasana, the corpse position. Totally still. From this very relaxed place, becoming aware of our breath and breathing once again, noticing the rise and fall of the belly, and gradually deepening the length of the inhalations and exhalations with purpose and meaning. And as the breath deepens in the body, allow a gentle awakening to happen inside the physical body, the toes or the nose, fingers, and head, gently moving, deepening breath, allowing any natural stretch. If you just woke up again from a really restful sleep. Let's all come now to meet effortlessly guided to a side lying position. From this place of deep stillness, perhaps remembering that seed intention that we brought with us into practice this morning. New moon seed intention can be a feeling or an experience, perhaps a color. Maybe it's a mantra or a phrase. Find a way to focus on that feeling now. Planting that seed into the fertile consciousness Trusting that its natural unfolding and manifestation will happen effortlessly for you. And placing the hands to the earth, rising comfortably up to a relaxed seated position with the eyes closed. Much the same way as we began, we'll sit with a long spine, eyes closed, bringing our attention to our nostrils, receiving the benefits of practice now. Notice the quality of your breath. Shifting attention now to the brow center, the seat of integration. Striking a meditative pose, non-reactive. 
resolving now to take this non-reactivity with us out into the world. It is sorely needed. Allow this meditative space to be our internal beacon. We can trust this internal connection to guide us through our most challenging poses in life. Bringing the hands together at heart level, gesturing forward in appreciation for the sacred breath and one another's presence. Grateful, grateful for these practices. Closing customarily, a namaste. Allowing eyes to come open. Mahalo. Aloha. Thank you. Have Happy a lovely Monday. Happy Monday, happy Aloha Monday, have a lovely, lovely day. We're grateful to share these practices. Subscribe on YouTube if you haven't already, Live Yoga channel. Uh, we, we love sharing these practices, it's keeping us grounded. We are grateful for our breath, we're grateful for our teachers, um, we're grateful for this beautiful land that we live on, this amazing earth, the sun, the 